Okay. <clears throat> First of all, Mary Louise Parker, congratulations. Thank Wonderful you. Wonderful performance in Thanks. Mary. Thanks. And can uh, we begin with, uh, would you like to say hello to, well, or I should say welcome home to Arizona. Thank you. Yeah, I, I grew up a, a large part of my life was there in the desert down there by the border. Yeah. and. Yeah, I have a little soft spot for beautiful that. Beautiful area down there. It is yeah. really beautiful. And speaking of areas, this film, although you shot in just a few locations, but it's a trip, it's a travelogue, isn't it? It moves all over the country. It does, kind of. It's um, hopefully, you know, the movie itself is meant to have like a sense of velocity about it, and much of it takes place on the road. So we, they do go like a lot of places, and it's cool to have those different, like to have the swamp. It's just, it's nice to have those different kind of. It is. Uh, we see a little bit of Chicago. It's yeah. supposed to be Chicago and right. Louisiana. Um, when I mentioned in Arizona that I was going to be talking to you about red, a couple people said to me, Is that about communism? <laughs> and I'm laughing because it's Logical an question. action comedy, but what does red stand for? Let's get that out of the way. Um, retired, what is it? Mm. Can someone tell me? Retired and extremely dangerous. Yes. Retired and extremely dangerous. I knew it was dangerous. something dangerous. Retired <laughs> and extremely dangerous. And your character is Sarah, uh, very innocent, uh, kind yeah. of bored. And she has a trip with these retired and extremely dangerous characters. She does. She finds herself in the middle of one of the uh, one of the stories that she kind of always dreams about that she reads about in her romance novels, and she kind of finds herself one in it, and she becomes her own superhero. Her dream comes to life. Her dream comes to life, yeah. And what a trip it is with a cast of characters uh, that, Mary Louise, you may never work again with a group like this. Well, um... Yeah, it's a pretty impressive, pretty impressive bunch. And I, I mean, truthfully, in my life, some of the greatest actors I've worked with are people you've never heard of and will never hear mm, of. That's true. And those are the people that, um, you know, I, I hold close to my heart. A lot of people I've worked with in the theater, and you'll probably never know their names. But it was lovely to work with people whose names are recognizable, and they do sort of live up to that, um, exactly. that stature. Yeah. And let's hope that you do work with them again. It would be nice. Yeah, I've worked nice. with John. I'd love to work with John again, and yeah. And and Bruce makes agreed the perfect Frank Moses. He really does. He's just, he just has a sort of sweetness that's a little bit hidden behind that manly, <laughs> macho thing, and it just all kind of works together. It makes him pretty, you know, irresistible. It's interesting, and I just have a minute, but Morgan Freeman just told me that at first he didn't know it was a comedy because the espionage is so believable with the guns and yeah. the authenticity to it. Uh, and, and yet your lines, your dialogue, I love some of your lines. Yeah, uh, some first thank you, page. I wrote some of them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah, she just, there. there is a lot of humor in it and it's brought, John is hilarious, I think. And, um, and it's just, it, I think it's what makes this story sort of different and special is that it is all this action and it does have a kind of humanity and a little silliness yeah, a little to it. Yeah, silliness like some first date. Yeah, exactly. Well, I, it's not a bad first date, actually. Not I would say. <laughs> and I wish you had hair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's just better that he duct taped her, really, I think. Mary Louise, always a pleasure to welcome you back to Arizona. Thank and, you, and, thank uh, you. I just love wanted, Arizona. Oh, great. It's so good to see you again. You too. And just go see this movie, Red. Take your friends. It's action comedy at its best, believe me. Yeah, and then you can eat at Monty's afterwards. Is Monty's still there? Yes. Yeah. I love Monty's.